I'm Mary Kane. I'm a track and field athlete, and I'm the founder and CEO of Atalanta NYC. I guess my relationship with sport started off really young. In those younger years, I uh, became kind of known within my school as being really fast. As a seventh grader, I qualified for our state championship in New York State. By freshman year, I was the number one girl in the country, and by junior year, I was 10th in the world. I started Atalanta to solve a problem that I saw in the world. I love sport and I have always loved sport, but I'm also knowledgeable about the ways in which sport perpetuates unhealthy relationships with self, with others, and in many ways I wanted to make sure other girls didn't go through the experience that I did as an athlete. Especially for those of us that are in sports that truthfully I can't run 12 hours a day. Why, why couldn't I spend time outside helping other people, building my career skills? There's three kind of pillars to the organization. There's our professional side, our mentee side, and our kind of training team everyday runner piece. Chris and Eva are our current athletes. They wanted to do more than just run. They wanted to give back um, to their communities. Their main role are their roles as mentees to our to our students, um, but they're also amazing athletes who are training full time, and they also help support the organization because we still are a small nonprofit in New York. It fills a gap in professional running that um, you know has existed for a long time, and there's been no professional women's running team that um, has been set up in this way before, where it employs female runners to. Um, also like work in the community and like be employees and, and gives them the freedom to continue to train at a high level. As I was in conversations with Mary, I realized I was like, oh wait, like this isn't just an opportunity for me to run. This is an opportunity for me to start something new and actually make a difference. I think the most urgent needs are to make sure people actually feel that they are included within the community. Um, especially a sport like running, it can have a very exclusive feel to it. If you run, you are a runner in my mind. I hope the work that we're doing, especially with our mentees, is helping us really show that we mean this, we believe this, we want this. There's a lot of privileged communities that have a leg up. I think professional athletes should be in these communities that don't have that privilege so they can be at the same starting line as other kids. That's been the most special thing really, is like developing um, relationships with these young people, learning about them and investing in their sport and in their lives and their goals. And it takes time to build, but those relationships I think are the most important part. People will see the work that she does, the advocacy work or the you know work in the community that she does, um, but sometimes that kind of goes unnoticed. It meant a lot uh, for me to be selected as one of the 2022 community champions. I think sometimes when you're doing something that you're so, so, so passionate about, it's easy to kind of get into like a little bit of a bubble of like just kind of surviving your day to day and getting your work done and kind of knowing that the, that the broader world is listening and watching keeps me moving along another day. The grant money absolutely goes a long way. I have three employees whose salaries I pay. This money is really going towards supporting the um, careers of three women um, in coaching and in sport. And through their salaries, they're able to give back and, and mentor girls for free. It's kind of hard to put a value sometimes on dollars when you're thinking of the lives and the careers of women. None of this would have happened without Mary. Like, it's really brave to do what she did. And I really appreciate her starting out Atlanta because we needed someone to step up and be like, it's time for a change. And that's scary to do. And she did it. I think that's pretty incredible.